Twix, Skittles, Milky Way, mmm, Gumi Barin, yes, Lollipop. Give me that sugar and give me Natalia Gordienko. She is singing the song Sugar, which is all about using candy as a sort of metaphor for lust and desire. The question is, do you guys feel the sugar rush? Should we talk about it? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> And now I hear my body talk, talk, talk. A taste is all I need, and I'm about to climb the walls. No way I'll be alone tonight. This song does not beat around the metaphorical bush. Instead, it cuts straight to the chase and shows Natalia craving, desiring, needing some sugar. At one point in the music video, she has sugared lips. She is licking lollipops. She is craving everything in her sexy candy shop. She says, I can't explain it, but there's something going on, a crazy energy inside of me, first a tingle, then it turned into a burn. Last time I had a burn, I went to the doctor. In any case, Suzanne Adams, do you like sugar? What are you thinking? Well, I do like sugar. Um, although I stay away from consuming sugar because sugar is addictive. <laughs> um, it, you've got to wonder, is this like the, the coming out of, hey, I'm an info. Um, I, the, Moldova, from my perspective, tends to do really funny, fun, quirky videos. Um, and this certainly aligns and is indicative of what I would expect from Moldova. The song itself to me didn't have a whole lot of meaning. Um, so it was quite fun. So at one point, Natalia has this Easter egg look that was quite cute. Um, she kind of has this Paris Hilton look about her, though I think she's far more attractive than Paris Hilton. Um, the pink boots and the pink leggings were really fun. There's this sunny blue lingerie dress. Like, everything about this was just so quirky that you really had to like the quirkiness. Um, okay, you referenced the sugared lips. That, to me, was really part of the WTF moment with the sugared lips. Um, but all of the different desserts, like if you guys have seen my birthday cake, it was mm. a rainbow unicorn cake, okay? And at one point, it looked as though Natalia was eating a piece of my rainbow unicorn cake. Yeah. Um, that's all I've got to say. Quirky, fun, not a whole lot of meaning, just quirky fun. Susan, I just have to clarify. So do you like it or not? Um, well, I don't really have a response to that. Listen, when Devin or Jonathan speaks, you know if they like it or not. But you, Miss Adams, are like, there's no meaning. So is that a deal breaker? Is this dead well, to you? I wouldn't say that it was a deal breaker. I will say that last evening, I finished listening to all 39 songs. And so having listened basically to every song in one evening, this was towards the bottom of my list. Um, I mean, you know, life sometimes calls for a binary response. When you, when you prod Suzanne just to give that, then you get more chapters, quite honestly. It's a yeah. no. Just trying to be politically correct because I think I'm going to like Natalia herself. We're not I'm running for political the song. Okay. We're not running for political office. We're critically assessing a Eurovision pop song. Three okay, minutes. listen, it's clearly a no. I didn't like it. Thank you. I didn't like it. Thank you. We move on to Debonatarimi Weeblogs.com. I'm gonna keep it real brief. You know what I've actually discovered? Because we have to repeatedly assess these songs. And I can't just. <laughs> 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 
We have to, as though it's not a choice. Ah, the, the videos I want to be in. William disinvites me. Ah, oh, I'm done with this. You know what? Actually, Sugar, the audio file, is not bad. It's actually not bad. It's uh, it, the music video. I have now narrowed it down to a singular point of dissatisfaction. I don't like the music video. As an audiophile, it's okay. It gets me moving, especially that Maroof horn blast thing. Yes. <laughs> it, it's got a moment. It's got you know. It's got its own vibe. The music video, though, I mean, goodness, I don't like that at all. I really don't. But I guess that's not what we're discussing in this round, right? We'll come back to that, right? Well, actually, Devin, may, let me ask you a question, though. If the staging is radically different to the music video, do you think this would climb for you? Do you think you would warm to this even more? It would climb significantly for me. I don't like the infantile cotton candy treatment i just feel it's so inappropriate and it doesn't even elevate the sound of the it's almost even forget the earlier comments i made about i, I still believe those comments you know i'm not i'm not departing from them but let's just park that to one side i just feel like sugar doesn't have to be so literal you know like it's just too it's too saccharine too candy explosion i can't deal with that and so many barbara dex wardrobe moments it's awful and you know those kazaki boys trying to do the thing in pink behind it's just, everything about it is so predictable and i think that's what i don't like it doesn't surprise me in a good way. Just took a little kiss to show how I was missing out. Compared to you, not worth anything to brag about. Your lips are hot and sweet. I feel it to my knees. Now I want only one sugar, sugar on my tongue. Jonathan, what do you make of the song? Well, I think uh, Natalia got the world longest song reveal when this was eventually released. But two hours in, once we got to the song, I really enjoyed this, actually. Um, you know, people have compared it to Loboda's Superstar and a bit of Maruv as well. And they are both two ingredients that I enjoy on their own. So mesh them together. And this is a recipe for success in my eyes. Um, I agree. I do really love those horns and um, that sort of instrumental section. My then slight worry is that maybe the song is too reliant on the instrumental section and then when you put that on stage it's a case of what happens and you know you have to we tend to find that when there's too many instrumental sections and then you're reliant on dancers and things that um things can go a bit awry um but i think moldova have proven in the past that they are quite capable of making memorable stage shows even on a budget um you know doredos just you know had a few doors and they climbed the scoreboard because they deserved to and you know this year once again they sure it's moldova you know they've got a bit of cash behind them with philip kirkrov involved and stuff like that um so i do i do think this is a a strong entry from moldova um, and I do think it it will do well in the contest. I'm not sure yet if it will do excellently. It is the song itself is quite repetitive um, with all those instrumental breaks and the horns. So um, and again, just being in a year with so many upbeat songs and particularly solo female upbeat songs, you know, whether this will stand out. Well, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I do think that overall, this is a, a nice entry from Moldova. Thank you so much. 
You mentioned the instrumental, and I agree. This is very reliant on the instrumental. However, it's an excellent instrumental. This type of sound, the Laboda Maruv horniness, this is very popular throughout the East. Radio hit written all over it. And let me just say, a good instrumental, it's okay to be reliant on it. What is this? Down and down and down and down and down and down and fuego down and You know what? That instrumental was banging. Banging. I, I'm sorry, sorry. Revisit that point because no. actually, yeah, yes, actually, because Jonathan makes a really strong point. Oh, I'm you not denying it's a good point. Let me elaborate. In Fuego, when she goes exactly. down and 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 down, Fuego down and down and down. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There is a dance break, and it is filled, and it is filled beautifully, and it ends up in second place. Okay, but so. Vocal, honey. I mean, I who's vocal? Are you talking about Eleni? Are you talking? What? Who are you talking about? No, you. Jonathan makes a really solid point that actually, the, the there is a clear instrumental section where it's just no vocals, nothing. Exactly. And they will fill it with a spectacular dancing and spectacle, I have no doubt, per Jonathan's other point, that they often have amazing quirking staging, okay? So they will be masters of the stage. My second point is that Suzanne said there was no meaning. That's okay. Not every Eurovision voters at a party, after having a few drinks, they're not like unpacking the meaning of the bird in the video. They're not, they're not looking to look at the lyrics. Amen, hallelujah, God is, you know, finality. They're not doing all that. They're just responding to something that they feel. And let me just tell you, they're going to feel some... This is not going to be Candy Shop Part 2 in Rotterdam. No. They will be going for Eleganza. High-end, expensive music video. They drink champagne with diamonds in the glass. That's all I'm going to say. This is not going to be Candy Shop Part 2. Okay? This song is the feel... It's not a guilty pleasure. This is just a pleasure. Sometimes you just want to zone out. You just want to have fun. That's what this is for. And thank God we have it. Because after this year, I just want some sugar on my tongue, on my lips. You give me the sugar, I'm going to eat. And I'm eating this up. All right, we move on. In this next round, let's discuss if this will make it through. We can be succinct. Moldova is performing in semifinal two in seventh position. So Austria is fifth with Amen. Poland is sixth with The Ride. Then it's Natalia Gordienko. And then we move on to Daddy Daffy from Iceland with 10 years. So she's sandwiched between The Ride, which Deben has described as a song made for someone who can't sing, and Iceland's kind of disco groove. Let's start with Suzanne Adams in Atlanta. Is there a place for Moldova in the final? No. You don't think it's going through? No. Why is that? There's just way too much dessert on that. Uh, I just... <laughs> no. What if I told you there was some keto cheesecake in the mix? But is there? I mean, this is the thing, you know? It's like my girl has given her opinion. You've asked her to be succinct, but now because it's not what you want to hear. <laughs> okay, Devin, your hey, turn. You know what? Okay, Devin, in or out, go. Borderline at best. Jonathan Votri. I do think this is going through. I think after Austria and Poland, this... This is a, you know, it comes along and it just sort of, you know, it's it's nice, it's catchy. And I do think it stands out after that sort of run of a couple of songs. Uh, but once it gets to the final, I think it will probably be a bit more middling. So maybe they'll, you know, push into like 12th or 11th, just get onto the left hand side of the scoreboard. Or it might be more of a just sort of top of the right hand side sort of thing. But I do think Moldova will be in the final. This is a definite qualifier. This is pushing for the top 10. This is pushing for the top 10. I think that among a general audience, this may have more appeal than Russia. Among a general audience. And I think a lot of the Eastern vote will go to Moldova. I, I'm saying this now. Please, let's come back and revisit this. Our girls go into the final, and she's going to surprise in the final. And they're going to deliver a staging that even blows Devin Adarimi away. Oh, but you know what? Well, we will revisit this video because it encompasses all scores known to man. Jonathan's going bottom, top, left, right. I'd be like, really? My girl Suzanne said out. 
you know, I said borderline, you said in. One of us <laughs> is going through. All right, it is now time to reveal our scores out of a 10, along with the justification, starting with Suzanne. Sweetie. Oh my God. I gave this a two. What? Okay, but the, the question was a score and justification. So let's get to the second half. How do you give this a two and for what? Despite Natalia's utter beauty and the quirkiness of the video that had me laughing, especially the unicorn cake park, I just didn't, it had not a lot of meaning. I just was like, okay. And just when I was really ready for it to be over, those blue lips covered in large clumps of sugar. No, I just, <laughs> I gave it a two. Dab it at her, Remy. Do you know what? The sections here in this song, they're just not fluid enough for me, right? They're almost like distinct parts glued together. And when you see the visuals, I find that it's completely unsuitable for her. It reads to me like a song that has been written. It's in the vault and we need somebody to sing it. And you know what? You've done an okay job despite the semi-wooden choreography. And the Barbara Dex corset is awful. And I don't like those Kazaki boys in the background. It's just, everything about it is just like, mm, I wish I'd gone there with different set of eyes because actually parking all the visuals to one side, sugar is not bad. I, I, I can listen to it and I can groove to it. It's the music video that irks me. Five out of 10. Jonathan. This is a seven and a half out of ten for me. I really enjoy listening to this. I will happily put this on repeat uh, for the weeks and months to come. Um, yeah, just a really catchy pop song and it is right up my street, audio and visuals. It's the earworm again. It's the earworm, y'all. Which Jonathan's... apparently appears in only one video, but makes it speak in 30 others. I'm done. Jonathan says that he will be listening to this on repeat, and that is because it is so loopable. Once you hear it, you're in the groove and you want to hear it again. I'm telling you, this is not about the music video. This is about the song. And on the stage, they're going to elevate. My score is an 8.5. That's, yes, this is not just some sugar. This is a gorgeous, you know, multi-tier wedding cake that would befit the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Okay, this is delicious. It is so sweet. Give me all the cavities. Give me all the cavities. I'll rinse with Listerine later. It is okay. This slays through fluoride. This sugar is so sweet. Now, we of course- That's are... rainbow cake, honey. Uh, yeah, take a chunk, girl. Take a chunk and eat. Now, we of course are not the only movie bloggers. There are dozens of us all over the world and they too have cast their scores from home. And when we take the overall global average, we get a 6.93 so approaching a 7 which is sort of the signal of a good song so i think there is definitely love for this out there and i met with silence you know what because i'm just done at this point i just feel like you know there's nothing more to say without appearing hateful <laughs> you know i'm just like <laughs> What's the next song? <laughs> well, he's making her story by wanting to be concise. That's what we think. What do you think? Is Sugar going direct to the final? Do you think Moldova can make the top 10? Or is this Sugar rancid and should it be banned? Let us know here on Wee Wee Vlogs. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, share, stalk us on all of our social media channels. And let us know in the comment section if you, like me, preferred prison to sugar. Oh, no contest. <laughs> and those social media channels are Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, and make sure you follow us on the website as well, because that's where all the new We Read Jury reviews come out first. We will see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.